Hello and welcome along to this coverage of Farnham Town versus Red Hill, another top of the table clash in the combined counties Premier South. Lining up for Farnham tonight is in goal Pat Nash. In defence, Max Meaton returns alongside Joe Jackson, Ryan Kinane and Tom Smith, who comes in for the injured Brandon Kalou. Mark Waters partners Lamar Aroma in midfield and Harry Cooksley and Dean Rule are in behind Saturday's hat-trick hero Owen Dean and Lewis Flatman. Very versatile midfielder for Farnham. Flatman, he scored from this sort of range on Saturday and he was looking to come up with similar heroics there but that was never troubling Win Roberts in goal. And now Jackson, seeing plenty of the ball. And he drives forward again into Red Hill territory. And he looks wide for Cooksley. He was caught late there, Jackson, but Cooksley can get the cross in. And Karoma is arriving. Done well. It might come for Dean Rule now. Picks his place and the goalkeeper saves with his feet. Just didn't get any power on it, did he, Dean Rule? Cooksley's going to get another effort here. Another left foot across. And Karoma again. Kinane from distance. Oh! He's creeping into that near post. Good effort from Kinane, low and hard, but the goalkeeper equal to it. It is Cooksley who was looking for the near post and almost deflected into the far corner. It will be a, a corner kick. And it's towards Jackson at the back post and he got a touch on it, as did Waters. And now Dean gets a good shot off and it's going to go out for a throw in. Flatman has a responsibility. And he goes for goal and he very nearly found it. What a chance. Mark Waters was in there as well. What a chance. Jackson, is he going to go on one of those runs again? Instead finds Cooksley who turns and drives forward. Now Harry Cooksley is opened up for him and he shoots left footed. What a finish that is by Harry Cooksley. And, and he goes. And break the deadlock. He goes straight over to the cameras. Harry Cooksley drives forward and then strikes the ball with his left foot as if it's his strength. But it's actually his weaker foot and it's gone bang into the bottom corner and Harry Cooksey scores his 16th goal of the season. Looking for Owen Dean and he did get a touch Dean and he's still going. Now Cooksley, a couple of step overs and he drives into the box and wins a penalty and I wonder if he'll take it. I quite fancy Nash, I think he strike it really well. But it's Owen Dean. And it's 2-0, calm as you like. And he's banging form now, Farnham's number seven, and they've doubled their lead before he's, half time. He struck that one well, Owen Dean, passed it confidently into the bottom corner. Farnham Town have got their second goal just before half time, and Red Hill, I'll be honest, out there look beaten. Passes with purpose. Waters, some space for him. Still Waters. Flatman loves this sort of position. Good effort from him, went for placement rather than power, and it's tip wide for another Farnham corner. It's going to come for Ford though. Poor from Farnham. Skips past Karoma, Sutherland has a chance. And the left footed strike is pretty decent from Ford, and that is the last action, a Pat Nash save. They take it short. Ford with the delivery. Where's the ball? And Pat Nash came away with it. God knows how. One there by Waters. And it's going to come for Cooksley. And Lewis Flatman. Still an opportunity. Flatman shoots. It was a decent strike. It was Cooksley a good strike. made a run to the left. Again, just dragging the defender with him. Nash looking out. Wide. Perfect. Pass. Brilliant pass. Brilliant pass. Dean Rule. No flag. Good touch from Rule into the area. Can he find Owen Dean? He just cannot stop scoring. Farnham have three and the clock end has seen another Owen Dean goal. It's a phenomenal pass from Pat Nash. And gets out, Dean Rule beats his man, finds a dangerous area and there's only one man it was ever gonna be. Main. Waters out towards Tom Smith. That was not a clever tackle on Tom Smith and the referee. <laughs> Poor old ref, he doesn't need this on his night. 
He's going to his pocket, yellow, red. It's a second yellow and Ben Dyson can have no complaints. It is Adam Liddell. It's off the bar and Edwards contended and Waters was offside and somehow both strikers that need a goal, Liddell and Edwards, have missed. Well, I can't believe what I've just watched. I'm about to watch it again in front was, of me. It was bad luck for Liddell. Redhill left back there. Looked for what it looks like. They're going man for man here, Redhill. It's Waters. causing problem. It's opened up for Mark Waters. Just couldn't get hold of his shot. Jackson. Edwards points to where he wants it. Jackson on a, on a real dribbling spree. And it came for Tanner. It was audacious and couldn't quite get the right contact on it. Meaton again. And now Waters. Jackson. Can he deliver? Oh, I feel he'd gone down. Jackson. Cuts inside. And shoots with his left. It's going to come for Postance and Edwards. Where? I and mean, honestly. Them, they cannot turn it home. That's a good ball, though, by Cooksley. Max Meaton's in! And he's in the post! Edwards! It just won't fall for him. Tanner goes in. Charlie Postance might have a chance. Tanner! Waters! Edwards! <laughs> Every single Farnham player that needs a goal could have scored in that 10 second passage. And somehow none of them have. And none of us can believe it. <laughs> that was mad! That was mad, I loved it! Fantastic, you can't say it's not entertaining here at Farnham Town. And the referee brings to an end a very routine win for Farnham Town. They've played superbly. Owen Dean adds two more goals to his hat-trick on Saturday. Harry Cooks is open the scoring. It finishes here, Farnham Town 3, Red Hill 0.